Alright, let's get into our shortlist component. Before I start, I'll just add a little bit of styling here. I'll just create a div and put our text into a H4 instead. I also need to add a class name of favorites, just so it looks like in our demo. Here we go. What we want to do is whenever we click on a name, I can show you in the final app, it gets added to our shortlist. Eventually we'll have a delete function as well. So the way we can do this, if we look at our uh, data here, each name has an ID, a unique ID number. So the way I would do it is whenever we click a name, I would simply pass the ID of that name to the parent component and from up there manage a list of favorites that uses the ID to fetch the right names and add them to the list. Make sense? So what I would do is go in my app.js and where we have a state here, I will add another property to our state object, which is favorites. And it will default to an empty array. What we want to do is whenever we click a name here, find its ID, send it to the parent component and add the ID here to the favorites list. So actually as a demo, I'll try one, two, 14, 20 and save that. So that would be like four demo names just to see if it works. Now, if I want to be able to, in my shortlist component, access this list of names, I need to pass my favorites through via a prop as we've seen before. So in my shortlist here, I'll add a favorites property and it will be this, that state, that favorites. Give it a save. So now I'll go in my short list and see if I can simply look at this uh, list of ideas, see if it worked. So I'll just pass my props as an argument and console.log props dot uh, favorites list of favorites. Give it a save. And here we go. List of favorites is now showing 1, 2, 14, 20. Great. Except now I don't want to just show an ID, but I want actually to show the name. And to be able to do that, I need to be able to access the data into this short list component. So what I will do in my app.js I will add a second uh, property, data, and we'll just pass this dot props dot data. So technically now I should be able to check for an ID and go check into the data object and find the name that matches this uh, ID, 1, 2, 14, and 20. Let's try that. First of all, I'll delete that, and instead of just props, I will, because I have now multiple um, props coming, I will grab data and favorites. And just to make sure that I can access this uh, favorites, uh, this data, sorry, I'll just log the data here and we should have a big object showing up. Cool. So here we are, and if, if I go here, I can see my number one, which should return Logan. And uh, what else do we have? We have number four, which should return dash heel. I'll have a constant called ID list. And I will go through favorites. And I will map and get an ID for each iteration of the map. And just to check it works, I will log this ID. So I should just see my four. There you go, one, two, four, three. Now what I want to do is have another constant name and I want to make it to be data, which is a list of name, and then use that ID to actually fetch the ID, ID, and then that name. 
to grab the name property. Let's see if that works. So let's try console. I know that's a lot of logging, but it's a nice way to just make sure things works incrementally. And as you get better, you can skip that step. I'll just console log name. So it should for each element, there's four items in my uh, favorites. We should see four names if everything goes right. Whoa, look at it, perfect. So just like that, I could return <coughs> some JSX. Let's say we could have a li, uh, and we always need a key. Otherwise, React complains about it. So we just use id as a key. And then uh, we could use name as the actual text that comes into this li. And then here, let's try that. We have just a ul, and here we'll just I will just return our ID list, which actually eventually will return all that. ID list. <coughs> Here we go. Here's our phone name. You already have that class of closed, but it's not doing anything for you just yet. Let's do some refactoring because ID list doesn't make sense since the actual output is a list of names. So let's call it names list. We can remove our console log and I have to change it to names list. So now click on a name to shortlist it and then we have a URL and each li names list is obtained from a little map here that maps over the favorites. Give it a save, it should still work equally. Great, we can see that these names look nothing like it. So we should make it uh, look equal. The way uh, these items have a red or blue, pink or blue, uh, color is the user class of boy or girl, which uh, matches the sex property on each of these names. So we'll just refactor that a little bit to not only grab the name, but also grab the sex with this structuring. And if I remove this, I should now have both the name and the sex, data.id.name and data.id.sex. So technically, I could add a class name of sex and ta-da here we go now please note that we have something here which we return this is exactly the same as in our names list here and this is uh, repeating ourselves which is definitely not a great idea at that stage it's okay but Eventually, we will go ahead and create a name component because eventually this is this li is just a little name. This little entity, Sebastian is one of them, Caroline is one of them. This should be a component of its own that can then be shared and used across different components. So the names list will use it and the short list will use it as well. At the moment, they are like identical, which is not the best, but we'll stick to it for that. Another aside I'd like to do is, you can see here, we are grabbing the index of the data object. So let's say if our ID is seven, what it will do is it will go and go one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this works here because we, our IDs are zero index and actually match the index of the array. And in our case, we're not adding or removing names in this data object. But if you are doing a to-do app and you had this system, as soon as you start deleting or removing IDs, you will have a hard time having the index of the data array be consistent with the actual ID of the, the item. So this is working for that specific app, but I wouldn't recommend using it on different sort of apps where you add and remove data. In our case, we just grab it and put it to our favorites but the actual data list never changed, so that's fine.